camp for internalizing tunes. When you're in music school, you're flooded with vast amounts of information, most of which is overwhelming. Any one component, you could spend you know, months trying to really make the jump from knowing about it, going through it mechanically, and then being able to have it come out and you're playing spontaneously unplanned. So how do we make that jump? By internalizing what I call the substructure of the tune. Most problems I hear with students have not to do with the gravy aspects. It has to do with the very basic aspects of the fundamental structures of the tune. Obviously, one needs to know the melody. Melody is the most memorable musical components and later on it can be a great source for improvisation. Uh, however, people often think of melody as something higher than harmony, uh, you know, on a spiritual plane. However, <clears throat> most of these melodies, at least if you're playing standards or bebop, most of the melodies could not even have been conceived of without the composer thinking of the harmony at the same time as in all the things you are. You know, that tune has a lot of thirds and sevenths even in the melody. Uh, so we also have harmonic rhythm. Not only what are the changes, how fast do they change? Are they full bars, two bars, half bars, or whatever? So I would recommend especially for a pianist, uh, to start out. You know, it's, a, it's always okay as a pencil sketch to do totally basic laboratory chords, I call them. You know, if you need to sketch it out so that you can find the other stuff I'll be mentioning, that's fine. Then what you want to do is play only the melody and the root a saxophone and bass concept. Okay, then you want to go through and play only the root line in the harmonic rhythm of the song. And so, then you want to extract what we call guide tones usually the third and seventh, occasionally the sixth on a major or minor might substitute for the seventh. But these are the notes that define the quality of the chord. I can play the root, but do I know that it's this and not this? Okay, so I would, you could do the guide tone lines singly, starting, say, with the third, and then connect with what's closest. Same starting on the seventh. Okay. Now, the most primitive form of converting harmonic information to linear melodic information is arpeggiation. That's the way horn players often practice. And I find that going through tunes, first, okay, there's a drill level. Okay, that can only take you so far because many people do very well learning a drill. The real challenge is to take the material from the drill and live in that space between the left and right brains for a while, accept the fact that it's going to be awkward and mechanical at first. What you're trying to do is make it so that you're, you can create musical lines using only chord tones up to the seventh. This will make any other things that people give you, like certain scales and various other devices, uh, have much more meaning because you will have internalized the substructure through line. Uh, scales, basically, somebody gives you a scale, you tend to hear people basically just noodle in meaningless non-phrases. 
So I think I found that that's because they haven't internalized the substructure. So I would use these notes artistically. For now, they're the only notes on the piano. Enjoy. <laughs> 